Hey everybody, it's John Nemo. Welcome back to another Noon with Nemo. I almost said the name of the podcast, <laughs> Nemo Radio, which is also fine, but this is Noon with Nemo. I'm super excited to have you here joining me live online. Let me know as you're getting logged in. I want to make sure the signal is working. So just type yes in the chat box if you can see and hear me okay. I want to make sure the audio and video are working properly. So just type yes in the chat and we can make sure that that is all working properly. And then um, let's do this. Okay. Let me know as well in the chat where you're logging in from and what type of work that you do. Cliff can hear me and see me. Yep. All right. Awesome. Love it, Cliff. All right, Cliff, you're first in. So tell me, where are you from and what type of work do you do? All right, Cliff, you lead us off here. And let me see. I'll start. Okay, we got Royce is here. Lenny, Glenn, Steve, Kevin, Cliff, the aforementioned Cliff, Steve Baker. We got another Steve. We got Dee Dee. We got Melissa. We got Kelly. We got Deanne McGraw. Welcome, 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 one and all. All right, so again, my name is John Nemo. So excited that you're here. Let me know in the chat where you're logging in from, what type of work you do. Want to make sure everything is working properly here. Uh, and then what we'll do, I'm going to get everything set up for today. Um, great, great. And today we're going to really be talking about how to monetize your knowledge. Doesn't that sound good? <laughs> right? How to actually bottle up what's in here, what's in that noggin and sell it online. There's some very specific uh, tips that we're going to cover. Steve says, where is the mask? Good, good recall, Steve. Uh, let me see if I can pull up the mask for people that weren't here last week, because that's always fun. Um, so let, <laughs> I should probably do a little explain. Lenny, the lawyer, good to see you. Welcome, everybody that's getting logged in. Again, my name is John Nemo. So excited you're here for another noon with Nemo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, let us know in the chat, just like Lenny did, and where Cliff is Hampshire, UK travel junkies. Oh, interesting. All right, Cliff, so who's your target audience for the Travel Junkies business? Interesting. Royce, there it is, sunny in 72 in Mesa, living my dream life. Man, I love it, Royce. I love it. All right, let us know in the chat where you're logging in from. We got Steve from Hartzell, Alabama. Okay, Steve, important question, Steve from Hartzell, Alabama. Is it Roll Tide or is it War Eagle or War Dam Eagle or Roll Tide? Let us know. Uh, I need to know your football allegiances, your SEC fandom right away. Danny Prosser, good to see you, Danny. Hope you're doing well. I shaved just for you, Prosser. Uh, Dan Prosser always gives me grief if I don't shave for these calls. Um, all right. I love it. Steve says, I sense a presence in your room. That's funny. Cliff, targeting small business owners. Perfect. Love it for the travel junkie business. So one of the Steves referred to, like, where's your mask? Let me show you what he's talking about. And this will be a good reminder. Uh, if you haven't been on Noon with Nemo before, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, just go to linkedinriches.com. And then anytime you want, under free tips, is the Noon with Nemo live training link. And all the previous sessions are here. So you can see 2021 sessions, all of them by date are here. And if they're in blue, right, then you can click on them and it opens up a replay page. So in this case, um, what's so funny, let me mute it. Here it is. Uh, last week for Halloween, I showed up in a scary mask, right? Because why, <laughs> why wouldn't you show up in a freaky mask for a Zoom call on a live training? I mean, some people said it was an improvement. I, I don't know. Be the judge. But, uh, you know, I was rocking this Halloween mask last week. We talked about favorite Halloween candy. It's <laughs> a great look for me, wasn't it? I mean, when you think about, you know, <laughs> presentation online, doesn't get any better, does it? Okay. That's why we're having fun. It's Friday, damn it. So again, today we're going to talk about how to bottle up and really monetize your knowledge online. And I want to really illustrate this. Let me get back here. Um, all right. Steve Baker is here, Texas in Medicare. we got another Steve, Steve G from Canada. Go Leafs. How about those Maple Leafs? All right. Steve from Al... This is like the All Steve podcast. Look at this. We got... We got War Eagle Steve, War Damn Eagle. I just read a story about your beloved Auburn Tigers, Steve. Fun fact, uh, you paid out Gus Malzahn, the former football coach at Auburn, like $20 million to, to not work for you. Like, I want to be a college football coach. They paid a guy, they fired Gus Malzahn and paid him $20 million just to go away. 
Like, how good is that? We all need a buyout in our contract like that. Uh, all right, love it. Karen from New York. What type of work do you do, Karen? Oh, Darcy is back. Darcy from Sarasota. Remind us um, uh, what type of work you do, Darcy. Lenny sent a message. What are your thoughts on LinkedIn ads? Uh, can you have different businesses? Uh, LinkedIn ads, Lenny, uh, I will tell you right now, uh, and we'll, we'll get into today's main topic, but I'm riffing here a little bit in the Q&A. LinkedIn ads are equivalent to what my dad told me about gambling. He said, you might as well take this, uh, take your wallet, take your money, go out in the backyard and burn it. Like LinkedIn ads are so overpriced, so ungodly expensive. I would never do them unless you have an enormous company like Microsoft or Nike or Google, and you just can burn money for fun. Cause a LinkedIn ad, like a pay-per-click for one LinkedIn ad for one person to click through was like 20 to $30. Um, it's much easier to do organic one-on-one -on -one messaging. So anyway, all right, I'm all over the place here. All right, Darcy, executive recruiter and career coach. Awesome, love it, love it, love it. All right, so what I wanna do too is launch a little poll here in the side and we'll display the results. Uh, go ahead and vote. You should see a poll popping up that says, have you attended noon with Nemo before? Vote yes or no on that bad boy. And then I wanted to also show you something fun. So I'm gonna try to open up my desktop because uh, we're talking today about monetizing your knowledge, right? So here's a photo of the first time I ever monetized my knowledge where this is back, you can see uh, April 12th, 2001, I got a check for $5, <laughs> five bucks, baby, $5. This was the first time I ever got paid to monetize my knowledge. The Fergus Falls newspapers, God bless them. I was doing a syndicated column on fantasy football and they were my first customer. So I cold called the sports editor at this tiny newspaper in Minnesota and said, Hey, would you want uh, to buy a column I'm going to create based on my knowledge of fantasy football? And for five dollars uh, a week, you can publish. You know, you can publish my column. And they signed on. God bless them. Five bucks. <laughs> Here I am, right? But you have to start somewhere. That was the point of this: was you have to start somewhere. And honestly, we live in the best era in human history to monetize your knowledge. Like, look in here. Knock, knock, Putin head. Right. Here's the deal. All this knowledge you have up here is worth a lot of money if you understand how to monetize it. And that's what we're going to cover on today's training, specifically how to get this out of your head and onto the internet and in front of people so that they will give you money and realizing the kind of the pitfalls and pratfalls and obstacles so many people run into when they do try to monetize their knowledge for coaching, consulting, whatever it might be. So uh, want to dive into that here. I'm going to end the poll. Looks like about 70% of you. It's your first time. So welcome to Noon with Nemo. So glad that you're here. Love it. Love it. All right. And then I'll just double in the, okay. So Karen coaches for statistical models on LinkedIn. That sounds really complicated. <laughs> Interesting though. All right. Lenny says, yes, I can get 50 pieces of bazooka gum for my $5 check. Absolutely true, Lenny. Uh, bazooka gum was good. Remember the little comics inside of them? All right. So anyway, what I want to dive into today, as promised, and again, welcoming everyone that's getting logged in. Uh, my name is John Nemo. It's Noon with Nemo. We're going to really cover in depth today, again, how to monetize your knowledge, how to do this online. So I'm going to jump off camera here for a minute, and I'm going to have some different slides and videos and things going on, really teaching you, walking you through how to monetize your knowledge, specific steps that you can take. So without further ado, let's dive in. So let's dive in. Let's talk about how to monetize your knowledge, really the secret to selling your brains. I love that expression because that's really what this is all about. Now, this is an important caveat disclaimer, right? Like if this guy can do it, if I can do this, if I can figure this out, Mr. Popcorn Bucket on his head playing Star Wars with his kids, Trust me, there is no reason you cannot be doing the exact same thing when it comes to really understanding how to monetize your knowledge. And really the starting place is, you know, we've got to figure out why so many of you, and this used to be me, frankly, too, why so many of us struggle monetizing our knowledge? Like, why is it so difficult? 
And really, I've identified four big mistakes. These are really the four things that I did wrong uh, early on in my business career that I still see again and again and again with lots of my clients and customers and frankly, mistakes that I sometimes fall back into. So they're, they're very near and dear to my heart. And I want to start with this first one. This is a big one here, and Rosie the dog is making her first appearance in the webinar, but you've got to understand so many people don't think they have anything of value to sell. So many people tell themselves that lie. And the way I want to counteract that, if you're sitting there going, well, I don't really know that I have any expertise or knowledge, who would really want to pay me for insights? If you sit back and actually ask yourself and consider some of these questions, you're really going to see that you do have a lot to offer. I love this photo. This is me back in, I think, 1996. This was a huge moment for me when I was actually covering the Minnesota Twins as an intern for the Twins magazine, their, their kind of team publication. And that was the beginning of my professional career. So now I'm 25 years in all these different things. And look at these questions. You can ask yourself, has anyone else lived your unique life story? Because trust me, there's a lot of expertise and value and insights in your life, just in the obstacles you've had to overcome, the mindset you've had to develop, the uh, empathy that you have that you can bring to people based on whatever you've gone through. All of that has value. All of that has monetary value. Your unique life experience, lessons, and different things you've gone through, you know, not to mention accomplishments. But also think about this, like even if you're starting out and you don't have a ton of experience and accolades, you how much time have you put in? Can you really identify, you know, I've spent over, you know, a thousand hours studying every single copywriter on planet Earth, really honing my craft studying because that can be another selling point is I've put in this much time, you know, I've written over 10,000 articles, whatever it might be, you've got that in your wheelhouse if you're passionate about your subject, your topic. I've read this many books on whatever. Um, also, think about this. How much knowledge have you really acquired over the years? How much experience have you built related to what you do? So I could say, hey, if you need my help as a writer, you know, look at the image on this screen. I've got 25 years of experience as a writer, journalist, author, blogger, public relations. Like, so you can talk about, I've got and acquired all this experience and knowledge in my area of expertise. Last and perhaps most importantly that you can use for sales is showing your results. Like what kind of results have you gotten for yourself? It can be your own journey, your own story, but even better, it can be your clients. What have you been able to do for them? This is the reality. This is the truth is you do have something to sell. You do. You do have expertise and knowledge. It's really more so about how you frame it. And that leads to the key, which is you've got to show people what your knowledge is worth. You've actually got to show them. And I love this quote from Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. He wrote this, keep in mind, almost 100 years ago, 1936. This was what Carnegie thought of the world at large in 1936. He said, this is the day of dramatization. Like, you can't just state the truth. You can't just tell people. It has to be made vivid, interesting, dynamic. You have to use showmanship. The movies do it. TV does it. And you will have to do it if you want attention. Now, if he thought that was the case in 1936, how much more is it the case almost 100 years later here in our world? And there's so many ways you can do this. Let me show you even one example to start with of how back in you know the late 2000s when I was working corporate jobs, day jobs, before I went on my own, I would actually make a video resume kind of showcasing my knowledge. Take a look at this.
And another time I, you know, again, I had a lot of hunger and knowledge wanting to learn how to use social media when it first came on the scene. Yes, I'm so old. I started my career before the internet even existed. <laughs> uh, but when social media started hitting the scene, I was really active and in, in jumping into different groups. And so one of the ways I could show off my knowledge to potential employers or later on to clients was saying, hey, look, I've been featured on the local CBS affiliates news. And all it was was me jumping into at the time this cutting edge technology of a video call, right? This was cutting edge stuff back in the day with Google Plus and video calls. And I actually got featured on the local news for it. So have a look. Ultimately, it um, just shows how addicted we are to Facebook. Then. Local PR guy John Nemo joined four other digital experts in a video chat. Facebook doesn't have this feature. We had to go to the new social network, Google+. This is like the nerd capital of Minnesota. It's almost like a, there's a social media arms race going on right now. People are constantly trying to one-up each other and, and keep up. And so again, these are very simple things where you see opportunity, you take advantage of it. But again, it's really about how you frame it, that showmanship that Dale Carnegie talks about, showing off your knowledge. Now, the second big mistake, and this is an enormous one, is you let people pick your brain for free. Oh, okay, the dreaded coffee meeting, the dreaded can I buy you lunch and pick your brain. If any of you do this, if any of you are still doing this, I'm going to climb through the computer right now, uh, back out of your phone, out of your monitor, and grab you and wring your neck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to punch you in the face. No, we're no, no violence allowed. But listen, this is such a critical, critical mistake for so many reasons. You have to stop letting people pick your brain for free. Think about this. When you let people, quote, pick your brain, buy you coffee, ask your advice, get your thoughts on something, right, for free, or let's have a Zoom and just chat and get to know each other, it really cheapens your value. Uh, if you're just giving away your knowledge, it can't be worth that much. If I can buy your expertise for the price of a cup of coffee, what's it really worth? Even worse, this really wastes your time and energy. You sit there, again, just in a one-to-one -one setting. It's not like a webinar or a speech or a big group of people. You're pouring out all your expertise and passion and emotion to one person who, what, bought you a 2 or $3 cup of coffee? Like, you're just draining yourself for no good reason. Uh, you can really feel stupid and discouraged. I have a huge kind of moment where this really crystallized for me when I stopped. I said, never again will I let someone pick my brain. And the last thing is, really, it sabotages your sales. The old expression is true. Why buy the cow if the milk is free? If I can just pick your brain and get free advice, why would I ever pay you for the same type of services? So I love this story. This is my never again moment. When back when I still had kind of a scarcity mindset, I was afraid. I was afraid to turn down anyone that wanted to talk to me, anyone that wanted advice. What I did was I had an executive here in the Twin Cities actually call me and say, hey, we're interested in using LinkedIn for lead generation. Would you be willing to drive across town spend an hour at our office, teach us about LinkedIn, and then you know we can see if there's any you know synergies or maybe we'll wanna use some of your services, et cetera. So I literally did stuff I never do, which is I got up, I got showered. <laughs> like I work from home, like that's the whole benefit. Like I work in my pajamas all day. I got all cleaned up. I put on a tie, I dressed up. I fought rush hour traffic. I drove across town. And I did this great presentation for an hour. I poured out my heart and soul to this executive and his team about how great LinkedIn was. And I customized it for them and gave them all this great advice and tips and gave them free copies of my book. And then at the end of the hour, they said, yeah, thanks. See you later. Like they didn't want to buy anything. They were like, yeah, we were just curious. You've really opened our eyes. We'll have to think about this. You know, maybe we'll circle back if we ever want to do anything with it. But uh, anyway, thanks. You know, here, do we need us? Uh, do you want us to validate your parking? Like, I mean, I think that's all I got out of it. And I was so mad. So I remember driving home, drained, frustrated, angry, stuck in rush hour traffic, going back the other way, uh, all the way across town, yanking the tie down off my collar and just being like, 
you are such an idiot. Why did you go over and give them all your expertise without, you know, demanding a thing up front or or without a promise of anything in return? Right? The executive didn't mislead me. He just said, "Come educate us and we're we're curious and maybe we'll use you someday in the future." Like that was my never again moment. When I'm like, "I'm never doing another coffee meeting. I'm never doing a free lunch. I'm never letting someone pick my brain. I'm never going to present to people like that again unless they come to me and qualify. And that's the big thing. And I love these quotes from John Michael Morgan, my business coach. And I first read these in 2012. And that's this was the book that John wrote called Branding Against a Machine that really convinced me he was the real deal. And he made so much sense about this. He said, you know, if you're letting someone buy you lunch in exchange for expertise, it can't be worth much, right? Like that's so true. Another issue that John points out in all of this is the perceived value. If they can get good advice and all it costs them is a cup of coffee or lunch, where's the motivation? Like what's the you know fire underneath to actually implement any of that? If I just gave it to you for free or for you know lunch, that's the thing. And John makes such a good point here in his book. He says, if someone has no skin in the game, they're not going to take action. Now, you know, by comparison, if they paid $10,000 to go to lunch with John, you're darn right they would take action on the investment, right? They would immediately jump in and apply. And I love John's sense of humor. He's like, on a side note, if you don't want to pay me ten grand, uh, just name the place, right? He's great because he's illustrating this key principle. Now, the third big mistake that I see all the time that I was guilty of for years was giving away your best knowledge one-to-one instead of one to many. So let me explain this. Um, if you answer like each email one to one, why are you doing that, right? Because again, you're only helping one person at a time. Instead, you can bottle up your answers and make that a blog post or a podcast topic. So instead of doing it one to one, it's one to many. Another example, if someone asks you for advice via a Facebook message or a LinkedIn message, offer to answer it in a group setting. And I'm going to show you an example of this later, but instead say, that's a great question. I'd actually love to save that for my next podcast, or I'd love to actually answer your question on my next live training. You should show up, right? (laughs) Instead of giving it away one-to-one, take that valuable answer and give it away to a bunch of people at once. Also, if you keep getting the same questions and you answer them over and over and over from scratch, bottle those up and make that an FAQ page right? Here are the most common questions people have about LinkedIn, and here are my answers. Here are my tips. And and that way, when someone emails you or messages you, you don't have to be rude. You don't have to be a jerk. You don't have to be arrogant. You can say, hey, great question. I get it all the time. Here's a link to my best answer. And that's what I've done to save myself so much time and energy. Take those best and most frequent questions and turn them into a lead magnet. Turn them into an actual valuable piece of content that's going to bring you revenue on the other side. So, for example, I get this question all the time on LinkedIn every day, dozens of times a day. Hey, John, love your stuff. Can you give me some tips on my LinkedIn profile? Can you take a look at my profile and give me some feedback? And my answer every time is no. <laughs> but in a very polite way. My, I have a very polite script that says, hey, I'm so flattered and honored you would want my advice. That means a lot to me. You know, in reality, I just don't have the bandwidth and the ability to give everyone who asks free feedback and free advice. I, you know, that's something I have to, you know, do in a paid relationship as a coach or a consultant. However, you know, I'm not going to leave you high and dry. I've got a great free resource for you. Um, that's my exact playbook. It's my ultimate LinkedIn profile template. Here's the link. You can download it. It's a copy and paste fill in the blank, you know, script. This will really give you all my best tips and insights on how to, you know, create a really good LinkedIn profile. So you're not being a jerk. You're not being arrogant. You're not being standoffish. You're just saying, look, I can't just give that knowledge away, but I have bottled it up as this free resource. Now, if they want to move into hiring you, that's a different discussion, right? But that protects your brand and protects your time. And take these questions, which are valuable, and telling you what people want help with, turn them into content. That's really the secret sauce here. Now, wait, 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 I know what you're saying. You just got done saying, you know, don't give away your knowledge. Don't do free coffee. Don't let people pick your brain. And now you're saying, give it all away. Like, what are you doing here, Nemo? Right? Like, this is my son, Bailey, looking shocked and confused. I love this image. Like, wait, now you're saying, give it away. Yes. Yes. 
if you give away and let people quote unquote pick your brain the right way, it's very, very lucrative and very important. But the key is giving away your expertise and letting people pick your brain in a strategic fashion, one to many instead of one to one. So create lead magnets, ebooks and templates and PDFs and free video trainings that grow your email list so you can eventually market and sell to those people. Do it as a webinar where you can offer a product or a service at the end to purchase, right? Do it as a podcast where you can really build a, a loyal audience of followers and have sponsors or you know, have an ability to sell something to that audience later on. There's all these different ways you can do it, and you do have to let people pick your brain. You do have to give away your knowledge in today's environment, and here's why. If you go online, Anyone can claim expertise. You can tell me you're the greatest business coach ever and point to your resume and say you're awesome, but can you actually demonstrate it? Can you actually show me how you can help me? Can you actually demonstrate your knowledge? Because that's a big separator for everyone online is sure, everyone claims they're the guru. How many can actually demonstrate it? How many can show me in a way where I don't have to take a lot of risk as the viewer or the reader? Now, the thing is, if you can give away your best tips where you bottle it up online, then people start to get to know you and like you and trust you. This is the whole idea behind content marketing. You're demonstrating expertise, you're sharing tips that help people get what they want, but you're also infusing and injecting your personality. You're bringing yourself into it so they get to know you personally and like you, just like I'm doing on this training, right? Goofy photos of me and my kids and sharing my stories. You're getting to like me through it and like, he's kind of a funny guy, whatever. And also you're getting some expertise, some training that you can use. Also, remember, people have to be convinced that your approach will work for them. Again, if you just claim it'll work, that's one thing, but people want to sample it. It's like going to a restaurant and you know getting a free appetizer and saying, that was really good, I want the full meal. Or you know getting a sample of the new cookies that you have, right? And I want to buy the whole box. So they've got to really test and try it for themselves to be convinced that what you're offering will work for them. Also, best of all, and this is why sales can be so easy for you, is if you do a good job with your free content, that really pre-sells and pre-frames your audience. They already trust you, they already like you, they already know that your stuff works. Now when you engage them on a discovery call or whatever it is, they come in pre-sold. They know it works, it's much more a call about how does it look to work with you? What are the structures? What are the fees? What are the options? What are the programs? That's where you want to be on a sales call. And that's what your content does. It pre-sells you, pre-frames you, helps people get to know and like you, convince themselves what you're doing will work for them. So when they come into that call, it's much more just about, hey, what does it look like to work with you? What are my options? That's the, that's the place you want to be. So another big mistake that I see a ton, and I see this a lot with coaches and consultants, is you're just too easy to reach. You're just too easy to reach. People can go to the front page of your website and literally book a free discovery call on the spot without any qualifications, without any hoops to jump through. People can just book calls with you all day long. And you have no idea if they're qualified. Like, think about this. I could have Rosie the dog, you know, book and show up on a free discovery call with you, right? Like, I literally could do that with a lot of coaches and consultants. And what this does is it destroys your brand. If you do not pre-qualify someone before you give them an opportunity to talk to you live, it destroys your brand, destroys your credibility. It also says to me, if I go onto your site and I see a bunch of open times every day uh, where I can book 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, what does that say about you? Does it say that you're super busy and important and have a ton of clients and work? Or does it say like you're not doing anything? Right? Like there's that appearance of you're kind of desperate or you, you know, you really don't have uh, much going on if you're available anytime all day for these calls. Like that's a huge red flag to a prospect because, you know, we're thinking of that as, well, wait a minute. Like what does Tony Robbins daily calendar look like? Can I just book 15 minute calls with him all day? Like, no, right. You want to give that appearance of credibility and authority that, you don't just get to jump on the phone with you, right? Like people have to actually work for it. You want to play hard to get. 
Remember, you want to make people earn the right to talk to you. They need to qualify. They need to jump through some hoops. This is a big one because I know a lot of people get stuck here with the scarcity mindset and fear of, well, if I don't immediately, you know, talk to someone, especially if they say they're interested in my service, what am I doing? I might miss a sale. And believe me, I went down this road for so long and so many times where I would just say, if someone like said to me, hey, I'm interested in LinkedIn, can we talk? I'd be like, yes, yes, yes. I pick up the phone immediately. I'm telling you, okay, (laughs) from from experience and years of doing this, 99.9% of the people who you just jump on a call with Uh, aren't qualified, aren't ready, you're not going to make a sale out of it. You're going to get drained and disgusted and just dejected. Make them jump through hoops. Make them pre-qualify. Make sure that you're not just too available and too easy to reach. You want to play hard to get. You want to be this expert. You want to be this person where they have to respect your time and you don't just give away your knowledge and expertise to anyone for free. And you're serious and selective about who you talk to as a prospect and client. That's the position and the authority you want to have. So here's how to deal with this. This is a great example, real time, and I've you know blocked out names to protect the innocent. <laughs> but I got this message on LinkedIn recently, and it's, hey, John, congrats on the success with your work. I want to expand my services, blah, blah, blah. Can we set up a short call next week at your convenience? Want to know what works for you? Thanks in advance, right? I want some feedback. And I was like, wait a minute here. So basically, I write back at the bottom, hey, thanks for the note. What type of insights are you looking for? Feedback, coaching? Like, let's clarify here, right, before I hop on the phone with you. And the person basically says, feedback. I love this part of, you know, your business and how you do this. And I would love uh, to pursue a similar tactic with organizations for my services. So do you have 20 minutes to talk? And I was like, oh, no. (laughs) So in a polite way, of course, thanks for clarifying. And then just very politely, you can say something like, so that would probably fall into the sphere of paid coaching, which I'm happy to offer if that's of interest. Otherwise, basically, you find a way to say, otherwise, if it's just about picking my brain, getting some free feedback, if you have a free resource, offer that. So I say, hey, you know, typically I have some live Q&A periods for tips and feedback on my Noon with Nemo. If that's of interest, I can send you the link. And the person says, yeah, great. I'll look into Noon with Nemo. Right, So what you're doing in this case is you're protecting your brand. You're not giving away your time. You're not giving away your expertise, but you're also not being a jerk. You're not saying I'm too important. I would never just give free advice. You just say like, hey, in reality, this isn't you know a quick thing. It's, it's not, there's never such, there's never anything like I just have a quick question or I need five minutes. That just does not exist. Anyone who tells you that, I just have one quick question. Can we talk? Uh Uh-uh. Like it never is that. So you just got to protect it and say, look, here's some ways that you can interact with me for free, either in a group setting, a webinar or whatever, or, you know, um, submit a question to answer on my podcast. Or if you want more detailed one-on-one advice and expertise, um, then I'm happy to do that. But it's a paid engagement and I can share the rates. And some people say, yeah, actually, I would be interested in hiring you. I've been following you long enough. I know what you have, et cetera. So this is the good news. You can serve people well. You can offer free tips. You can let them pick your brain, so to speak, but in a strategic way that also protects your brand's value and saves you time and energy. You can have your cake and you can eat it too in this instance. That is the key lessons I want you to take out of this. So really understanding kind of as we wrap up this training, how do you monetize it? Like what are some proven methods and proven models to utilize? So there's really some you know core models that I use that I've seen work again and again and again. And really, you know, obviously the easiest and fastest way is coaching or consulting, one-on-one or group. Hey, you want to pick my brain? You want my knowledge? I can show up and give you advice. It's, you know, X dollars per hour or whatever your package is. Another great thing is to bottle up all your expertise as an online course, on demand, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. People can access your brain through these training modules that they pay for, and you don't have to show up. You don't have to teach. You don't have to answer questions. They basically you know, use your online courses like a library or like Wikipedia, right? Like That's another way you can monetize all your expertise. Um, You can do something like a video show or a podcast, right? These are enormous. You can build a huge following where people show up 
week after week, day after day to watch and learn and listen to you to you know get your knowledge and you monetize that in the form of sponsorships. If you look at John Lee Dumas, Entrepreneur on Fire, he built this podcasting empire basically around seven days a week he would interview entrepreneurs and he started with you know smaller names people that we wouldn't immediately recognize but because the show kept building and because his audience kept getting bigger and more dedicated eventually he started getting big name people and now tony robbins wants to be on the show and all these famous people want to do it because John Lee Dumas has built a model, a podcast with a really big, loyal audience. There's lots of different ways you can monetize this expertise, this knowledge. There's lots of different things you can do. And the final one, of course, is done for you services. So you can say, I can take all my knowledge on this topic and I can actually do it for you, you know, either individually or like with an agency. That's another very lucrative approach. So at this point, I would love to know if you want to learn more, because if you want to learn more, oh boy, I got something good for you today. So it's called On Demand Experts. This is an amazing new course I put together that really shows you how to monetize your knowledge. It's really all about what we've done today, but taking it further and hearing it straight from the experts, the people that have actually done this and built this. So check this out. By the way, this course is only $47. Like I'm making this no-brainer level. And what you're going to discover is I've got over 25 different audio and video interviews with a who's who of marketing and sales and entrepreneurship. So you're going to learn how to build a bulletproof business with John Lee Dumas, how to master email marketing with Chris Brogan, kind of the secret to becoming a well-known social media superstar with social media examiner's Michael Stelzner. He pulls back the curtain All of it, how he built the Social Media Examiner empire. You get the whole story here. Uh, John Janch on duct tape marketing, right? I've got one of the guys from Shark Tank from the original series sharing his secret to $5 in sales. Uh, This is one of my most popular ones, Seven Lessons from a Former Disney Executive on Leadership. Incredible stuff. How to build a billion-dollar business. Doesn't that sound good? So I spent an hour with Scott Shea, who literally did build a billion-dollar business from scratch. Um, New York Times bestselling author Jeff Perlman, an incredible interview on storytelling, marketing, branding, uh, YouTube ads. We've got how to get lucrative consulting clients, podcasting tips with Cliff Ravenscraft, how to sell your book on Amazon. And once you get into the training here, it's all in Thinkific. You can see here's John Lee Dumas' interview. And then we've got several interviews. And it's a mixture of video and audio, so you're going to get... Uh, links and downloads and transcripts and audio that you can take with you. You're going to understand how this works, how to really monetize your knowledge. And here's the topics that I've built into the course. So five different interviews on entrepreneurship with big names, eight different interviews on marketing and branding. So you're going to really understand some key components from you know everything from personal branding to Disney, right, to Jared Robbins talking about what he learned from his dad, Tony Robbins, to selling to the affluent, to selling. Uh, Matt Sweetwood sells these high-end, ultra-luxury services and products to super, super, super wealthy people. This was a fascinating interview because he really pulls back the curtain on how do you do that? Like, how do you actually sell to, like, super rich people? (laughs) And the lessons are incredible in this. So you're going to love it. Um, And then we've got nine different sessions on lead generation and sales. So how to get nonstop referrals with Stacey Brown, Randall, um, YouTube ads, This was a really popular one, how to get lucrative consulting clients. This was an interview I actually went back and listened to a few times and took notes um, because it was so good. David Fields, high, high high-end consultant, just gave away a ton of great knowledge and expertise. So you can see there's copywriting with Nick Osborne, who's done copy for Apple and BMW and all these big places. Um, Sales tips, how to sell your book on Amazon, affiliate marketing with Matt McWilliams. I've got a bunch on podcasting too. So another one with John Lee Dumas. Rob Greenlee, who was like one of the first podcasters ever, big name in that space. How to actually turn your podcast listeners into leads with Tom Schwab from Interview Valet. Cliff Ravenscraft, 
of course, with Cliff, nothing is brief. We went over an hour into all his best tips on building a you know profitable podcast. You can see it's over an hour of training. Um, but again, all of this is available for you right now inside this course. It's just $47. You have a 30-day risk-free money-back guarantee. And, and really, I consider it kind of a master class in marketing, entrepreneurship, sales, personal branding, podcasting, all these core areas where you really want to understand how do you monetize your knowledge, like what we've been talking about today, it's in here. Like people are sharing in here as an entrepreneur how you monetize, like how you build your business, how you build a fans. This is Derek Webb, a musician who did an incredible thing uh, in entrepreneurship. Julian White going from zero to 48 million in 36 months, right? All these different things. How to, you know, master your personal brand and email marketing and all these different topics. So I cannot wait for you to get your hands on this. The beauty of this is you can just dip in and out of the course based on whatever topic you're interested in that day. You can listen to it on the go. All the audio is downloadable. Um, you can say, you know what, I really want to take a deeper dive on this topic. I'm going to just pop into entrepreneurship and see what I can learn from these experts. That's the key. Is That's why I call this on-demand experts. These are people who already have achieved the level of success that you and I want, right? That we want to be to. So again, I cannot wait for you to get signed up for this. Just put in your contact info, pick PayPal or credit card. It's just 47 bucks and you get instant immediate access, 30 days to go through the whole thing. Make sure you love it. If not, you know me, I'm not difficult. I'm going to give you a refund. There's no drama, no homework, none of that. So I cannot wait for you to get your hands on this because I know how much it will help you with today's theme and monetizing your knowledge. Yeah, I'm excited because I realize like these are the interviews, the insights, the expertise that like I personally go back to all the time. And this was my opportunity that I earned through different relationships, um, you know, where I was able to quote, pick the brain, of these experts, right? I mean, people like John Lee Dumas and, and all these others, you know, on the topics that I wanted to know about, like, how do you sell high ticket items? How do you get lucrative consulting clients? How do you build a profitable podcast? Um, how do you build a strong personal brand? So there's so much value in there. Um, and what I love about it too, is again, that it's kind of Netflix. You can just pop in and out, pick the interview you're interested in, listen to it on your phone, on a walk, whatever, like it's super easy. So Wanted to make this kind of idiot proof, hopefully. And, you know, uh, and I see people signing up. Glory. All right. So let me know in the chat if you're signing up. I want to shout and scream. If this is your first time on Nemo, uh, Noon with Nemo, I, I get excited and I celebrate <laughs> each and every uh, sale and engagement. So two things. Let me know in the chat um, if you're signing up right now. Um, and again, I should point out. This is normally $197. Um, so this is 150 bucks off. Like I really want to make it accessible to you. Uh, it's it's cheaper probably than buying lunch, right? For one person nowadays, going to a fancy restaurant in Manhattan with Lenny. Um, you're gonna buy lunch with 25 experts and pick their brains with me as your guide. And it's it is it's an incredible opportunity to really learn. Karen is in glory. All right, Karen, I love it. And I see, Karen, there's also a little secondary bundle in there um, that you took advantage of, Karen, the secret sauce. Um, so once you sign up for this course, um, you're going to get a second page on there. And you're going to get an opportunity to get access to a second course of mine called the secret sauce for a very special um, price. So I don't want to, you got to sign up for this one first and then the second page will tell you. But it looks like, Karen, you hopped on both. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So, Karen, what are you most excited about? Like, which... Which lesson, which topic are you looking for the most insight on? Because I can give you some direction on what to choose. And I'm trying to look. Karen in New York. Oh, coaching for statistical models on LinkedIn. Okay, so interesting. With your business, uh, Steve Baker is signing up. All right, I love it. Glory. All right, Steve, use this link. Use this link. Okay, that's the right one. Just click the link in the chat, Steve, and I'll also open that up. Um, depending on the browser that you're on, it should open up a new tab or a new window. Um, and you can get access to it right away. Uh, because again, there's, let me go back. I'll actually pull up the live course because I, I feel like I've added to it. 
Um, I add new interviews in there too, when there's like really good ones that I, that I'm able to do one-on-one with different experts. So let me look. Um, and if you have questions right now, live on the webinar, just put them in the chat, like, you know, or let me know, Hey, do you cover this topic or Hey, do you have more information about that? And obviously let me know in the chat. Uh, if you're joining Steve and Karen, Glory. all right. I see somebody else just came in. I can't pronounce your email. It was like an alley. Maybe. Um, tell me in the chat if you're signing up. I want to go crazy and scream. So love it, love it, love it. Okay, tell me in the chat. Um, let me pull up the live course so that you can get a look. Uh, oh man, I'm excited. Yeah, you guys are gonna love this. All right, so let me get in courses enrolled student. Let me see what this looks like compared to. Oh yeah, I have added more. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let me share my screen too. Allie is in glory. All right, Allie, what are you most looking forward to? Karen, what are you most looking forward to? Steve Baker, I'm still waiting to see yours come through. Sign up. Tell me what you're most looking forward to. And then I'm going to give you guys a little preview, too, of what's in this bad boy. Um, so this is the sales page. Just go through this again. Fill it out at the bottom, 47 bucks, And then on the next page, you'll see an opportunity to grab another course that I kind of pair with it called The Secret Sauce. More about that later. That's more on how to... The Secret Sauce 2 is the second option um, after this one, and it shows you more ideas on how to monetize your knowledge like we were talking about today. So let me go into the actual live course. Um, I would love to hear from people like, what topics are you most interested in? Because you can see like five different entrepreneurship lessons. We've got marketing and branding, lead gen and sales. we got podcasting. Boy, I got a live chat. So let me stop screen share for a second. Answer that. Allie's a huge fan. Oh yeah, John Lee Dumas, you're going to love it. Go to the, the Braves Parade is on TV, Stephen. Well, hey, priorities, I guess, right? That's first time since 1995. All right, I love it. I got live chats. Um, connection isn't. Oh, Cliff is trying to get in. Okay, sign up, Cliff. I remember, Cliff. I'm a travel junkie, Cliff. Let's do this. Cliff, 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 Cliff. I'm screaming your name, Cliff. It's windy, but it's not so windy to blow away a potential sale from Cliff. The travel junkie. Get in there, Cliff. I'm excited. All right. So, yeah, Karen is interested in Allie to the lead gen and sales. So let me turn that on again. Show you guys some of the ones that I would definitely cherry pick. Um, for the lead gen and sales, like this one with Ginger is a new one. Um, the secret to securing high ticket clients. Hey, yeah, sorry. I'm already screaming. So, but again, like she's got some of the biggest brands on the planet, like Coca-Cola, Verizon, et cetera. And she told me um, on this interview, like how she got them. And I was like, oh, and like what was really, this was shocking, like how she got these high ticket corporate clients. You'll be very surprised. Um, and then how she built it from there is is a really good one. And that's why I put it here at the top. Uh, I would say another one, Stacy Brown Randall, this one on referrals and it's just an audio file. Like, oh my gosh, like there is so much juice in here of, how you can do this very simply, right? And then there's more links to it. Uh, the YouTube ads one is really popular. Uh, I was like, at the end of this interview, I was like trying to throw my own money at uh, Alaric. <laughs> and be like, take my money. Like he really opens your eyes to YouTube ads and like what's possible. And he was doing screen sharing and, you know, there's a lot of good stuff in that one. Um, this is another really popular one, how to get lucrative consulting clients, similar to Ginger's. Uh, the sales funnel with Mary Lou Tyler was fantastic. Nick Osborne's copy. Oh, yeah, the sales. There's so much good stuff. There's a great one in here, too, with Raza on Amazon. So, like, if you want to sell your book on Amazon, how to market it, there's so much value there, too. So, lots and lots of good stuff. Let me know in the chat if you're signing up. If you're not attending the Braves Parade, you can stay and tell me. Uh, all right. I love it. That's so cool. Cliff is on page one of the Travel Junkies. No way. Amazing. All right. So I'm just telling Cliff that. All right. That's very cool. You got your SEO dialed in, man. We'll have to get you on as an expert on SEO. So it looks like Steve Baker just jumped in. All right, Stevie Wonder. I like it. He's in. Who else is signing up? Let me know here in the chat if you're getting in. I want to scream and shout and show you more stuff. Again, um, if you haven't signed up for courses of mine before, let me just turn this on really quick. It's typically... Um, Everything's in Thinkific, right? So you'll see 
Uh, you'll have a little course. And if you go back to like the dashboard, it should have like all your Thinkific courses. So like you'll, if you've already bought courses for me before, use the same login. You just need one login for Thinkific. And here it'll show you like, here's all the courses you have membership in, right? So for me, right, I've got lots of courses because I'm the owner. So like, um, but again, that's how it works. That's how you access the course. You just click on it. You can see everything you need. Um, and if you've never signed up for a course before, if this is your first time, you'll get an email um, with login credentials to get signed up on Thinkific. So you can see all your courses and all that good stuff. So, all right, let me see here. Turn off the screen share. Joe is getting in. All right, Joe, what are you most excited about, Joe? Uh, as you get signed up, I don't want to distract you. Take your time, Joe, sign up. But I would love to know from Joe, like which topics you're most interested in getting, oh, getting more notifications. All right, I love it. Steve is in. All right, got it, got it, got it. Karen is in. Love it. All right, good. People are getting in. Let me know, too, if you have more questions. Um, let's see here. Okay. So we've got, all right, Steve Baker just popped in. I got that one. All right, good, good, good. Love it, love it, love it. Let me know um, what are the questions people have. All right, we're getting more live chats. All right, Cliff and I are chatting. I'm traveling to London, sounds like. <laughs> We're going to do some fun stuff together. That's so cool, man. Uh, love it. All right, Joe, let me know. Uh, glory. Joe is getting in. I'm excited. Pay attention to after you sign up and submit for um, today's offer. And again, it's only 47 bucks. It's normally 197 30 day risk free, like all my courses. So the beauty of this course is you can just dip in and out, cherry pick the ones you're most interested in. You can listen to them on your phone while you're walking the dog. You can sit and watch the videos and take notes. I have links with each one um, to more resources on the topic and the expert and all that good stuff. I'm trying to go, what else I want to mention? Um, does anybody else have questions? You can just put them in the live chat here. Uh, otherwise, as well, let me show you one last thing. Keep turning on the screen share, turn it off. So the other thing too here, if you have questions, um, Go to the bottom of the sales page, uh, the checkout page, the program page. See where it says chat with John Nemo on the bottom right. Let me see if I can zoom in. Just click on that or it might have popped up. And then you can actually just type in there. And yes, it really is me. And I will really talk with you one-on-one. -on -one. So <laughs> if you have more questions, just click on that. We can talk live one-on-one. -on -one. You'll see also uh, a chance to get another course for a huge discount once you sign up for this one. And that course is called The Secret Sauce. And it, it's really designed to kind of take what you learned today and go even further with monetizing your knowledge. So, man, this is so fun. I love it. I love to hear all the people that are getting in. Joe, Steve, Karen, Allie. Love it, love it, love it. Anybody else signing up, let me know. We're going to go crazy. We're going to shout and scream and yell. Um, let's do this. Let's do this because I see we're getting, I get more notifications coming. So let's do this. What I want you to do, if you haven't already, and I'll grab the link, hop over to the page, and hopefully it has, um, go here with more questions. Let's move it over to one-on-one -on -one chats, um, and then I'll also pop open the window for anyone else that wants to sign up. So that should pop open, and then we can continue there. So again, this is a special, like, right here, right now for 47 bucks. You can grab it. It's normally 197 I cannot wait for you to get in. I cannot wait for you to get access to these insights. I love kind of the irony of this is it is me picking the brain of these experts. But of course, there's a backstory behind each interview and how and why they came on and shared it and all the good stuff. Um, so anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody so much for being on. Hope you enjoyed this. We will be back next week, of course, with more um, Noon with Nemo. I'm going to schedule out a bunch more sessions. Ooh, I have to think of what I want to tackle next. Maybe webinars, maybe LinkedIn maybe sales. Boy, there's, I got a lot, I got a lot of ideas. So anyway, thank you everybody for being on. Hope you had fun. Somebody else just signed up. Joe is getting in. Glory. All right, Joe, you're in. I love it. Thanks everybody for being on. If you have any more questions, hop over to that page uh, and we can chat live one-on-one -on -one and we'll go from there. Otherwise, be well, have a great Friday, appreciate you, and we'll see you next week on Noon with Nemo.